All right, welcome everyone to the Tuesday, uh, Thursday evening uh, lecture. So I prepared to show you this game against Grandmaster Zaitsev. I'm playing with the white pieces in this game. So I open up with d4, which I always play. He played knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3. Do we know the name of the opening at this moment? Not yet. There could be a few options here. What are the options? King's Indian defense and Brunfeld. Another option could be some Benonis maybe. Uh, if he no, plays c5, five. some Benonis, right, we might have. Sure. So he plays bishop g7. So here we <coughs> have the opening now. And the opening is called? King's Indian, King's Indian defense, the kid. Okay. Bishop g5, d6, e3. H6. Bishop H4. Knight C6 played by Zaitsev. Mm -hmm. Knight F3. G5. Bishop g3. So the knight c6 is a bit unusual way of playing it, okay? So a bit unusual way. Normally they play knight bd7, okay? So that's why uh, he plays knight c6. He wants to complicate the position, okay? Knight f3. And now he plays g5, attacking my bishop. Now he's attacking my bishop. I go back bishop g3. Knight h5 by Grandmaster Zaitsev. But now he wants to win my dark square bishop, okay? So. But the compensation I get for that is some weak light squares, right? So bishop d3. Take, now he plays e5. Attacking the center. I close the with d5, knight e7. So he would like to play the move f5 when he has a chance, okay? So that's what he would like to do to get f5 in. Knight d2 played, attacking the knight. He already spent too many moves to get there, so he will take on g3. I take f5. And now he's threatening to play which move? He wants to play e4. And if you allow black to play e4, then he's going to get the bishop out. Okay? He's going to get the bishop there. Okay? So that's why. E4, right? I White plays check, check first. King f8. And now g4. g4. G4 now. Weaken the position, and if takes, knight goes on e4. Okay? If take, knight goes on e4. Okay? So that's why he plays e4. I could have played the move e4 as well here, but I wasn't convinced if I am that much better after this, you know? Because my pieces are kind of blocked. After g4, I get the control of the e4 square, okay? So that's why I wasn't quite sure here. Because I never want to take on f4 because e takes f and the bishop is open. So that's why I'm not sure.
F4. So that's why I didn't want to do that. So I played the move G4. I don't mind sacrificing the pawn as long as I can get an outpost for my knight on E4. If takes, knight goes on E4. Mm -hmm. Now he plays e4. He wants to get his bishop open, the diagonal, OK? So he wants to get that bishop uh, diagonal open here. So that's why he plays the move e4. Now I go back bishop c2. He takes. He, he basically loses the pawn, but at least his bishop is open. That's why he did that. But the position of the white king uh, black king, it's still pretty weak, right? And if I can somehow manage to open up the f-file, imagine rook comes to f1 and check, be some serious, serious problems. So he goes queen e8, offering the exchange of the queens. Knight b5. It's not a good idea to retreat, right? Remember, we never retreat when we have an active possibility here. So that's why it's important to get your knight active, knight b5, and now you're putting pressure on c7. It's very, very hard for him to protect c7. If he pushes the c pawn, then d6 pawn is dropping, okay? Queen takes h5. Rook takes h5. And now, once again, we see a position where it's very, very difficult to defend on c7. OK? And you're willing to hang b2. I'm willing to hang b2, but I have rook b1. And then I take on c7. So he goes bishop d7. I capture. He goes rook c8, knight e6, check, takes, takes. So we reach this position. Now, bishop takes b2. He captured the b2 pawn, attacking my rook. If, let's say, you capture on c4, I just have bishop d3, attacking the rook, and everything is protected. If he tries to play d5, you know, I, I was thinking about the possibility of d5 for him. Because that will attack the knight. Then knight d6 comes in very strong. Knight d6, knight f7, rook g8, and even bishop to h7. Okay? So he goes bishop b2. B1, bishop e5. Now, after he goes bishop e5, rook takes b7. And now my rook is very active here on the seventh rank. If he takes on c4 again, I will just go bishop to d3, attacking the rook. So that's why he plays d5, looking for a counterplay. Looking for some ideas now. What do you think I should play here? Yes? You might take g5 and take advantage of him. Well, the bishop is guarding the rook, though. Cool. See? Respect. Thank you. The problem is the bishop is guarding the rook. F4, 
Absolutely, Caleb. Excellent thinking. We're not afraid of losing the bishop because now we have two pass pawns on the sixth rank. Okay. Now the pawn is also threatening to take the the knight. Two very strong pawns. Good knight and threatening now check on b8 as well. So he plays king g7. What else to do? It's very difficult because the pawns are going very quick. That's why he goes king g7, trying to play king h5. So if let's just look at the line if he moves the knight. Uh, we have a check. Take. Push. Trying to queen. Push. Trying to promote. Okay. So that's why he decided, okay, I'm going to lose the knight. At least I will try to trap the rook. Now my rook is actually trapped because I cannot go here takes. Here takes as well. Here bishop takes. And if I go to h1, he has a rook c1 check. Rook c1 check. So let's say I go here. Check. Picks up the rook. So what to do? Knight g5, he might take the rook, you know? Knight g5, he might, oh, you want to go knight f7? Okay, there's some check on c3. Just think, just think for a moment. I do want to use this g5 idea to, to get to his rook. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Yes? Rook b5. Absolutely rook b5, yes. I just want to get rid of this bishop. If this bishop moves, I have rook g5 check. Takes, I take on h8. So it's very important to move rook b5. and. The pawns are controlling the squares. He doesn't have a way to put two rooks in to mate. So he goes here. I take, and now he goes back because if he plays rook b8, what do you do? Check. Check and take. Okay. So he goes here. Well, knight d6, rook b8 maybe? Oh, knight d6, sorry, king f6, Caleb. And then if you queen, see? Yeah. It's a little trouble, you know? Yeah. Take, take, take. So that's why you don't want that. You make it a knight. So, no, you make actually. It a knight and no, actually, what, what I need to do in this position, I just need to create another pawn to go down the board. Okay, mm -hmm. so I played f4, threatening to play a five check. Mm -hmm. So he took Ampassan, I took Ampassan. Now my plan is very simple. Push, 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 sorry. That's what I'm trying to do here. And if he plays rook b8, now he's threatening mate. What can you do? To gain an important tempi. What do you rook do to king? Rook b5. Yeah, that's an idea. Rook b5. Rook b5, I think he might go rook to uh, e8. Yeah. I played rook d5 because now if check, I just go rook d1. Okay? So if check, I will just go. Now I can. Now he cannot do much. So he played rook e8 back. Where do we put the rook?
Well, if you put on d7, I think you run into the risk of this idea. King f5. He takes and takes. That's, That's last for us. So here, we need to get the other pawn, right? Let's go. He takes, push. And now, finishing touch here needed. Knight f6 first, Caleb, check. Because that pushes the king to h4, and now you're forcing the exchange of the rooks. Yes. Because if he takes, I will just take back with the pawn. He went here. Instead of knight f6, what happens if rook e5? Probably, probably winning. Oh. Probably winning too. But now here, rook c7 now. Takes. Um, I thought rook takes c7 and knight e7, but that doesn't. Now you go here. Yeah. Tracking the rook. Yep. He goes back. Push. F6, F7. Winning the game. That's my game. Win against a very famous player. Igor Zaitsev. From Zaito variation. Yes. So let's go over this opening ideas one more time. Yep. So we start out with the just the opening, first 20 moves. D4, knight f6, continue. C4. C4, C4 g6. Knight C3. Bishop g7. So we have the king's Indian defense. And here. Bishop g5. E3. Now he's playing this way. So we have the Smyslov Petrosian variation against Kings Indian. In the night. Yeah, now my plan actually was to play something like long castle, put the rook on f1, and then push the f1, yeah. just to try to open up the position. This was my plan. But he played the move queen e8, and, and now again, knight b5 attacking c7, then it's very difficult to defend, so he took. And now c7 is hanging, and c7 drops, then d6 pawn is weak, so he went here. C takes D5, Rook takes C2, push D6. push D6. If he goes King G6, then the pawns are queening after I exchange Rooks D7. Mm -hmm. And if he goes here, takes. And I think this was the important move because my king is still in the middle. Rook B5, yeah. Because if the bishop moves anywhere, anywhere he goes, what is the winning move? Rook B, B takes G5, check. If he takes, Rook, rook H8, H8 Bishop H8, 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 E8, Queen, check. Okay? So that's the idea. If he goes back, I have Rook B5 takes G5. <laughs> okay? All right. Very good. Now we're going to do a couple of tests, okay? For you on a medium, in a medium difficulty, okay? All right. Okay, very good. Why to play, and this is a game by a 2700 Grandmaster from China, Li Chao. 
and what to do here white to play and win okay white to play and win how white can take advantage of the 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 weakened weakened black king here please calculate all the lines and when you're certain okay when you're hundred percent certain go for it okay any ideas then If he yep. captures with the rook, yep. what do you have? G4 check followed by capturing the rook there. That's a loose piece, right? After the check here now, you're taking the, mm -hmm. the rook on C8. And you're winning the game, okay? If he captures with the king. If he captures with the king. Yes. Queen takes a seven check or don't don't rush okay. Of course. You want to get the rook involved here. Yep. Check. Now he goes here. Right. Well, yeah. um, Check. Right. If he goes here, what do we got? Matilda. Matilda, right? Checkmate. He has to go here. <laughs> he did have king f6 there. Sorry. Sorry. If if he goes here, ah, he has king f6. So it's not quite mate yet. So how do we? we it feels like a mate though, right? Okay, check here first, and then queen e5. Feels like there should be a or mate. queen g4 check, king. Okay, check, okay, not quite mate yet, okay. Two more moves, check, check, and mate. That's okay? <coughs> okay, so that's losing, mm -hmm. and if he goes here now, why is this losing? And now just bishop e6 and h7 is just going to be very, very weak. Okay? Bishop goes h7 weak. Got it? So that's the idea in this position. What so I was you looking at after mm -hmm. bishop takes, king takes, mm -hmm. queen takes h7 check. And then rook to the seventh there. Is that okay, that should be good too. Yeah. But I think rook d7 is just more direct, you know? Doesn't after bishop f7, king f7, rook, D, uh, rook d7, king e6, um, rook e7, king b5. So here, king d5. Yeah. And now we got the other rook in. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, check. Uh, king c5. Is rook it this? Check wins the queen. Okay. Check, take the queen, that's one away to win. Take. Uh, instead of, instead of C6. C5 instead of C6. Ah, C5. Check? Uh, yeah, okay. Check? <laughs> <laughs> <Tech? laughs> yeah, that should be good. When, when you have two rooks and a queen and the king is so, <laughs> so weakened in the middle of the board, it's going to be a mate, okay? One way or another, there is going to be a mate, okay? So you will just have to, you just have to find it. There will be a mate. <laughs> Next position, white has a very strong attack, but you need to find the finishing blow here to win the game. White to play and win. White to play and win. Player with the black pieces is a very strong Russian grandmaster, okay? Easy. This one is, it's, the idea is important for you. So the idea for this one is called how, what's this idea called, you think? Caleb, you think you have the answer, right? Uh -huh. What is the idea you would refer to? One word? Is it one word? 
Like yes. Like the interference of the river. Interference? Yeah. Hmm. That's one way. How about the word regrouping? Regrouping, right? Improving the pieces, right? Regroup and improve the pieces, right? Interference as well. But remember, you're replacing the pieces, right? So, anybody else? Anybody else? What is the move here for white? What do you think? Bishop G5, is that your suggestion? Interference. Interference with the idea of? And that's where the regrouping comes, okay? Queen H6, King G8, Bishop F6, and you've got the Queen H8 mate as well, okay? Queen H6, King G8, Bishop F6. Also, well, I mean, he's going to defend that, you know. And then what do you do? And mate. Got it? <coughs> Moving forward. Very good. You have to play like a very strong grandmaster, Ding Liren. Ding Liren, okay? How did Ding Liren, you know, played here to win this game against another 2700 player, Tomaszewski? Okay, you have to raise your, ra raise your hand first, Neil, and plus calculate all the lines, okay? Queen takes, uh, whatever it is. Yeah, queen takes e5, queen. rook takes. Okay. Bishop D6. Knight moves and then capture with the pawn on uh, F, whatever it is, F6. So say the knight moves to protect the rook. Let's say knight yeah. F3. And then you're ahead. Um, okay, so can I go here? Okay. And then capture with the pawn. King G3. And now capture with the pawn. King here. Probably this is. Good, yeah. Probably this is winning. Okay. I feel like there might be some ways knight can try to blockade the pawns. Okay? okay, so that is a good idea. That is good, good idea that you saw the tactics, but better. Something simpler, actually. Neil, what is your suggestion? Rook B1. Rook B1. The point here is, if the queen takes the rook, then you can take the queen. Okay, and you're winning a queen. If he takes your queen on d6, what do you do? Check. Check. Bishop d6, upper rook. So if he goes king g2, capture, and you win the knight. Okay. Okay, so if he plays rook b1, knight f3, if he tries to do that, then now this knight is becoming a piece that is overworked. That is overworked piece. Okay? And what do we do with the overworked piece? Neil. Queen takes, e5. Queen takes e5, knight takes on e5, rook e1 check. And win everything. So again, here you have to find the piece that is overworked. The rook on e1. Okay, the rook on e1 is protecting the queen, but the back rank is weak. Okay, so the back rank is weak. So you want to use the idea of rook b1 to pin him. Okay, because the rook is the piece that is defending the queen. So you want to use this idea of rook b1 to attack him. You're also using the idea of in-between moves. Okay? So if he takes on d6, 
If the queen moves now, you take on e1 with the check. And it's an in-between move on e1 with the check. And then you just capture on d6. Okay? So that's the idea. So you have to, in your own games, you have to look for these ideas. Okay? Rook b1 ideas to be able to deflect the rook on e1. And that's the weakness of the back rank, right? The back rank is weak. That's why you have to take advantage of it. And also, the knight on d4 is another problem here. If the knight wasn't on d4 hanging, then after rook b1, king g2 would have worked. But in this position, you simply take on e1, takes back, and you take the pawn on d4. And now g4 is hanging, f6, everything is hanging. Okay, so that's that's the idea. So yes, the correct the correct idea is rook b1, and that wins the game, and that's the game again. Tomaszewski versus Ding Liren from 2016. If you want to look at the entire game, looks like it was a lot of uh, in fun, sharp game. White started to push the pawns, maybe it was some kind of Sicilian, you know. But at the end, black was a lot more solid and defended and won the game with the rook b1 tactic to see. Okay, very good. So we're gonna take a short break now and we'll have the next class start in a few minutes, okay? So see you in a little bit.